the story of a man fighting for his life. Uh, yeah, it was just a typical day, you know, us going out putting a metal roof on. It's what we do every day. And before you knew it, a storm came in and I was getting everybody off the roof. But it was too late. Adkins says the storm came in quick, so he hurried to get a metal piece off the roof. As he was removing the metal, he was struck by lightning. Yeah, no, it, it just came in so quick. You know, I never even thought about getting struck by lightning, really. I've done over 3,000 roofs, and it's never even really crossed my mind. It's... Adkins says that it was the loudest sound he's ever heard, causing him to black out. Yeah, and I couldn't move anything for probably 30 seconds. I couldn't move my legs, arms, nothing. And then all of a sudden, I got my legs back, then at my, my chest, and my back, and I kind of worked my way with my shoulders to get off of the place I was at, and my arms still wouldn't move. Adkins was then flown to Cincinnati Hospital and placed in the burn unit. My left hand, they had to put over 50 stitches in. And I thought I was going to lose it. That was the, the, the biggest worry of all. And the, my right hand, it's like a little bit over 40 stitches was put in it. And it's, it's probably going to be it's close to a year on my left hand, and it's going to be like three months on my right hand. So, Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. Most people know Jimmy John from either his days fighting in MMA or from his successful roofing business. But everything could have been taken away from him in an instant as he found himself fighting for his life. But Jimmy John is no stranger to challenges. After three days in the hospital, Atkins says he channeled his inner fighter, constantly telling himself to never give up. That, that is uh, the Mayfield Pennington mentality that I got. I've, I've stayed with him from like 15 to probably 21 or 22 training. He was a great mentor, he was. And it came from him, we never missed a day, he never wanted us to. So I just, just never given up. Throughout this recovery process, Atkins says he couldn't just let his men work on these roofs alone. So he helped any way he could. And his friends and family continue to cheer him on. Oh yeah, it's, it's amazing. I never thought that many people would reach out and, and pray for me and stuff. It, it really is a miracle that I'm alive. Like God, he has another plan for me, he does. I have a baby due on Christmas Day, so I mean, it's for him to let me survive that, like I, I have more purpose here. I just want to thank everybody who you know put prayers up for me and stuff and reached out. It's, it's amazing what kind of support you can get. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Jeremy Justice.